This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. In this example, it's slightly different in terms of the question, uh, because now we're just going to look at how to account for the intangibles within the financial statement. So again, we're going to focus on the SFP. Uh, we're going to go through and focus on the statement of profit or loss. Uh, for the various different intangibles that we see within this question. Okay. Again, it does say to explain, so I will talk us through it. Uh, but I'll also go through as well and, and show you how things look from a number crunching perspective on the SFP and in the statement of profit or loss. Uh, so, what have we got? Uh, it says there that Booker is involved in developing new products uh, and has spent $15 million on acquiring a patent. OK, so that $15 million on a patent uh, is going to be capitalized. OK, uh, so therefore we're going to go through there and capitalize the $15 million and then we would amortize that over its useful life, whatever that may be we, we do not know what its useful life actually is but there'll be 15 million dollars that will be capitalized so within the statement of financial position on my non-current assets on my intangibles there will be there is it the 15,000 okay again we're working in round thousands. Uh, it then says the initial investigative phase of the project cost an additional six million dollars, uh, whereby it was determined that the future feasibility of the product was guaranteed. So if it's expenditure on an investigative phase, that six million dollars that has then been spent is effectively research, isn't it? Okay. Uh, money that's spent to see whether or not we can develop this product further. So within the statement of profit or loss, you have that is it research, which is there at six million dollars. OK, so remember, that's too far away from the final product to be able to go through there and, and, and capitalize that expenditure. Uh, it says that subsequent expenditure uh, incurred on the product was $8 million, uh, of which $5 million was spent on the functioning prototype uh, and the remainder on getting the product into a safe and saleable condition. OK, uh, so what you've got, the whole $8 million there uh, is effectively development costs. OK. Uh, so that would all be capitalized. OK, uh, just note five million dollars uh, was spent on the functioning prototype. Uh, you could technically argue, I suppose, that five million dollars is going to go through there and be PPE. So what we can do there. Is three million will go in as an intangible. And then PPE will be there as the 5 million. Uh, and then it goes through to say uh, 1 million was spent on marketing, 0 0.5 million on training sales staff on how to demonstrate the use of the product. Yeah, we might get some future economic benefits from that, but we're not going to be able to go through there and measure it reliably. So, what we've got there is that there's some more expenses. So you've got there, is it your marketing? Is it there your training? So let me get them the right way around. Uh, marketing was a million. So 1,000, 1,000. And training was half a million. Okay, 500,000, 1,000, 1,000, 500,000. Uh, so what you've got there. Uh, is when you finish it off, you've got your intangibles. Is it there at the 18,000? 
the PPE is that is it as the 5,000 uh, we've got no indication uh, of what the useful life is but it doesn't matter because what you're told there is that the product had not yet been completed so therefore the PPE the intangible is not yet ready for use so therefore they will not be depreciated and they will not be amortized so this year there is nil depreciation there is nil amortization okay uh, if you wanted uh, you could think about things from a statement of cash flow perspective whilst we're there uh, you've spent money this year on the purchase of intangibles and the purchase of PPE. Uh, so therefore the intangibles outflow will be 18 million and the PPE outflow would be 5 million. So they would fall within our investing activities within the statement of cash flow. So the purchase of PPE and the purchase of intangibles. But like I said, I'm not too worried about the statements of cash flows at this point in time. You've had a little bit of revision of it already. You're working through the questions. Just be aware that additional aspects might appear uh, with regards to, to the newer accounting standards that you then see. OK, excellent.